Hey guys, welcome back to my workshop. Um, the weather has been really crappy the last few days and I've had some family stuff going on this weekend. So um, I'm just now getting some time to get back to the breaks. After getting over my little pity party that I was having for myself the other day, uh, I did take a step back and, and reevaluate the brakes. And they are pretty rough shape, but they, they're salvageable. Um, I did do some research online to see if I could find replacement you know, calipers and what parts would be available. And um, what I found essentially was that a lot of the smaller bits and pieces I could track down pretty easily, either going through uh, eBay, Mazda, or Atkins Rotary, or, or places like that. So I was able to track down quite a few of the, you know, smaller parts, but I was, you know, the calipers were hard to find. Mazda had none available. And I found a couple places that had rebuilt calipers or maybe they had the left, but they didn't have the right. And to buy rebuilt calipers, I was, I was looking at about $200, you know, 150 to $200 per side. So, you know, anywhere from 300 to $400 to get, you know, rebuilt calipers. Um, and, and there was a couple places that did have new calipers, but, uh, like I said, I wasn't really looking to spend that much money. So anyway, so um, I have been waiting on a lot of parts to come in. I think most of them have come in. And so I think what my first step is going to be is to get all the rust and all that you know crud cleaned off the brakes. And then I do have rebuild kits to rebuild all the seals and all the you know kind of perishable items that you would have in the calipers. Um, I got as many of the parts and bolts and nuts and things that I could find uh, to replace the rusty ones. And I'll be able to do all that out here in my workshop so we're not out sweating to death in the garage or getting blown away by the wind. So anyway, this place is an absolute disaster, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up. So that is much better. So I'm gonna go out into the garage and I'm gonna go ahead and bring all the brake parts in here and get the camera set up so you can kind of see where I'm at. Cause I did end up working on them a couple nights ago, uh, doing some more disassembly and cleaning and yada, yada, yada. So uh, let me get everything brought in here and organized and I'll be right back. After getting all the parts clean, this is kind of what I was left with. Um, I did go ahead and take off some of the brake lines just because it made it easier to clean some of the parts. And I, I really wanted to assess how bad, you know, some of these parts were. Uh, you know, the front calipers really are fine. I mean, they're they're alloys, so they're, they're really not rusty. They're just really dirty and got some, um, you know, paint over spray and scuffs and things. And so, uh, like I mentioned, I did get rebuild kits to redo all the seals and, and things for the pistons on the front calipers. So that's no big deal. Uh, the rears, um, they're, you know, these are cast iron. So they, they definitely are quite a bit more rusty, but after a thorough cleaning, they, they really aren't that bad. You know, some of these pieces actually for the emergency brake were probably the worst. Uh, you know, there was a lot of scale and stuff on those. So, um, you know, again, I, I took them apart as much as I could to get uh, the various bits and pieces off. The emergency brake springs are not the greatest, but they're not terrible. Um, a lot of the stuff on this uh, this piece of cardboard over here, I have replacements for. So the shims for the uh, front brake calipers were were not in the greatest shape. The the uh, aluminum ones are fine, but the the, the ones that were powder coated they're quite they're they're peeling and rusty so i went ahead and got a whole new kit for of those i got a lot of retainer clips for the brake lines that you know where they attach to various points on the body so i will i'll just get these new new parts eh, yeah so pretty much everything on here i do have replacements for that are pretty rusty like i mentioned i do i did end up getting a lot of parts this week that i need to get started i got the rebuild kit for the front pistons, the whole rebuild kit for the rear uh, calipers, um, you know, all the little pins and and wires and all sorts of stuff. And then this is the, these are all the, sh the metal shims that go with the front brake pads, uh, various clips, uh, some new bolts. So I think I have everything here to really do a good job. Um, ultimately, the goal is still to get the calipers cleaned up, painted, uh, you know, looking really nice for the car, and then all these pieces here that we were able to replace, we'll go ahead and redo that. And then the things that we can't replace, we'll do our best to get them cleaned up and, and do a good job on the paint. So um, let me show you some of the tools I've got to try to tackle this job. I think power tools are gonna to be the, the most effective way for us to get most of the rust off uh, for right now. Um, so I've got various wire wheels and things to try on my drill. I've got an extra battery charged. 
I do have my rotary tool and I've got some smaller wire wheels to try and some of the more intricate areas or you know, hard to reach areas that these wheels can't get to. Uh, again, I've got plenty of batteries for those. Um, I've got simple green, so we may try some mechanical, uh, you know, abrasives with some different sandpapers, steel wool files. And so a little bit of simple green will help, uh, you know, give us some lubrication while we're, we're doing some sanding. And then I do want to try some chemical methods on some of the smaller parts. It's just something I've, I wanted to try. I know you can do electrolysis fairly easily at your home. Uh, you know, just basically need a battery charger and, and a big tub of water and it's pretty simple. But uh, for my purposes, I, I just want to try this uh, metal rescue. I, I have used this rust free to clean up some rusty tools before. So I do know that this does work on minor surface rust. Um, again, this is just something I want to try. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. This does take some time. I think it says you know, basically you just put it in there and keep checking every you know, just couple of hours to see what kind of progress you're making. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of this mixed up um, and uh, do that first. So I need to get some, I think this mixes with one gallon of water. So I'm going to get that going and that way we can let it sit while we're trying to clean the other parts. I followed the instructions for mixing uh, the concentrate, which basically it's it's one entire container to one gallon of water. Uh, so I, I borrowed a plastic Tupperware container from the kitchen. Sorry, honey, I'll, I'll definitely replace this one, but um, I, I use this so that you guys can see the progress of, of the rust. So um, basically it says it's you know safe on your hands and uh, let me get some of the parts in here. I'm not gonna do all the parts. I'll probably just do a sampling of the ones that are, are the rustiest and you know a couple bolts and, and things. So uh, let me grab those and I'll get these in the water. Okay, so you can see that I went ahead and put more parts in there than I thought I was going to, but if this stuff works, then this will probably make life a little easier than, than you know, sanding all these. So um, there are some bubbles that are sticking to some of the rust, so I'll come back and, and check this out later and see if I can get some of those bubbles to knock off. But uh, essentially we're supposed to check every couple hours, so I'll let it run tonight, and then chances are I'll just let this run overnight, and then tomorrow I'll, I'll see what progress we've made. I'm going to try starting with my drill and rotary tool to, to get off of the bulk of this rust. Um, I'm just gonna put some music on and get all my safety gear on. So I, you know, I do have respirator, eye protection, all that good stuff. My shop actually does have a air filtration system as well. So I'm probably gonna run that just to help, you know, get any particulate that we, we kick up in, into the air. So um, I'm basically gonna start with the calipers, see how well I can get those cleaned up and try to get as much of this rust off as I can with the power tools. If that doesn't work, then I'll switch over to some of this other stuff that I've got back here. So I'll keep you guys you know, up to date as we go, but for the most part, I'll just uh, check in when I've made some progress. I took a quick break from all the sanding that I've been doing and I'm, I'm actually quite filthy now. So um, I'm gonna give you a quick update on what's going on with the, uh, the parts in the, the, the metal rescue bath. And it looks like, uh, you know, this is about an hour and a half after I put everything in and 
there's actually been quite a bit of progress. So I, I, I kind of zhuzhed everything around to make sure that, you know, there weren't any air bubbles or anything trapped. And I did kind of take a couple parts out and rub them with, with my fingers. And uh, quite a bit of the rust has actually already come off in about an, an hour and a half it's been sitting here. So I, I am actually hopeful that that will uh, save us some time, hopefully. So I will just go ahead and let that run overnight and I'll check them in the morning before I head off to work. And if they, you know, if the rust looks like it's gone, I'll go ahead and pull those out and give them a clean, uh, a, 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 you know, rinse them off in some clean water and dry them off before I go to work. So, uh, so that's that. So the other thing that I think that I'm actually quite impressed that we, I was able to get, uh, you know, fairly well straightened out is, is the rear calipers. And I found that my, my little rotary tool was much, much more effective than the, uh, the three inch or two inch wheels on the, on the drill. So, um, I'm actually almost down to pretty much bare metal on both of them. There is a little bit of, you know, surface rust I'm, and, and I haven't wiped these down with anything, but I think once I've wiped them down, I'll get some more of this out, but uh, I may hit them again a little bit tomorrow uh, with some, uh, some more of the, the, the rotary tool, but you know, I'm actually pretty much down to bare metal for the most part on both of these. So I am hopeful that those will turn out, uh, um, you know, quite nice so anyway I am I am quite filthy and sorry about all the shaking of the camera but I am disgusting and so I'm gonna go ahead and go in tonight and get cleaned up before I go to bed and then I'll get back out here tomorrow and hopefully we should be able to get the uh, the front caliper sanded down pretty well and go ahead and get these painted and then um, uh, like I said once I, I think once I have them painted I'll do my rebuild of the of the both the front and rear calipers and you know, there maybe there's some argument to go ahead and do those before I paint them, but um, I'll just be really careful when I'm assembling them to not get brake uh, fluid all over everything. So, so I'm gonna sign off tonight and then I'll get back out here tomorrow to uh, keep making progress.